purple man all around. I wonder when the new skin for purple man's coming out. Dude, I want an orange one. It's to be different. Uh, no. What's that? Like, fiber internet. Oh, yes, yes, sorry. Sorry, I wasn't sure what you meant. Yeah, I do have MPN. Is the stream good quality? I haven't been able to check without the game freezing. Because if I alt-tab, it doesn't focus on it. Sweet. Uh, I haven't got a got it recording yet, though. So it just streams, doesn't record yet. It should record if you stream it to Twitch. Hey, we'll get settings on your profile. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I, it hasn't so far. So, like, I've streamed multiple times, different games though. This is fun. You should come shoutcast more often. Oh, okay. That'd be interesting. Alright, let's look at the teams here. That was... Argives got it. Argives. Then my bros. Right, so we got... We got Abby on Abby. We got Maximine on ECT. Argives on Brightwing. Ibrez on Li Ming. And over on the blue time, we have Silo on the Chen. Giga on the Valor. Um, we actually have a bot here. <laughs> Uh, Blake, Blake on the, um, Artanis and Delirious on the Tracer. Blue team do have a bit of an edge here, because they do have three heroes that do not require mana. Without needing mana for heals. ECT plus Li Ming is pretty strong, and the Abbey can all around support. Though Blue Team does have a very strong composition, they have um, Tracer for the flank, Giga for the sustained damage. Uh, the two tanks, both of them bruises, by the way, so those squishies will take a lot of damage if not careful. And the RL, very good. Um, with the crown on Tracer and Valor, um, and AOE heals. Fortunately, is once again Team Aga with the edge here in this game. Got Silo taking a lot of damage. Spawn. Oh, Tracer catch that. Oh, micro moon might go down here. 
Yeah. And we have a DC from the area again. Yeah, uh, micro mirror taking a lot of damage here. Nice not back, cancelling the uh, Artanis return. Or oh, ATC goes ATC down. Guys to the pulse bomb. Our guys here getting um, chip, uh, attacked. ECT in the middle of it though. We got Micro taking out the bomb gate. Look at all those mines there. I've oh, a a little bit far <laughs> back this time. Oh, I'm getting it. <laughs> it's instantly half HP. Oh, he's going to get away. Got that block. I guess trying to bait the bombs. Alright, Rez coming in the back and killing the Valor. Just hanging around the back, not really doing much to help her team. Ibrose has been landing all of those juicy shots. Blake might be going down here. No. I think Oriole just does not know what to do in this map as a AI. I'm 
don't think anyone's actually pinged her. Definitely baiting that. Oh, nearly every mine hits. Is oh, yeah. gonna go down here? Or no? Oh, Bro, Giga very, very low. Wait, playing a very dangerous game. I'm keen, I'm keen to see here what Ibrez goes for for the level 10 all. Gets cleansed. You get wiggling really on that fence. Hopefully, Giga does not walk onto that health globe. <laughs> oh, I've hit zapped by Ibrez. Silas stuck against the wall here. The Abitha wants trusted in not doing much on the fort. Might not even get to see level 20 talents pick this game. Oh, look at all these mines. Blake's gonna get knocked back. Switch comes in, but is it not? Oh, I brace sniping him down. Giga super low. Oh, just make sure. Oh, he's dead. Oh. Ibrez coming big this game. Those orbs from eyebrows starting to hurt even the tanks. Oh, they're waiting. And Chen just gets annihilated. I guy is very low. Zekri could have revived our tennis there. He had a. Harper is finally out of mana. Our oh, guy's gonna die here. Yeah. Giga, just a magnet to the mines. Monstrosity doesn't even do anything. 
You're just clearing up those mines. Micro trapped it. Well, the hack comes through and saves it. Barrel comes through though. Maximize with the, um, the charging bars. Oh, it's enough to get Delirious down at that. Oh, yep, Delirious dies. Hat. Fantastic hat. I'm surprised Zekri isn't reviving Tracer. Yeah, has... Got the ulti, but have they not used revived it at all this game? No. Line coming through. Knockback used by Argos. Oh, Giga extremely low. Playstorm used by Micro. Gets, the, gets Giga. Abby just so. baiting on the little, little mine trails she's got put up there. There's the ace. Yeah, I think um, Stylo uh, gave Giga to. And she's dancing, uh, she's just dancing though. in front of the other team, trying to bait them. She's doing the worm. Uh, I believe Slash Dance. Oh, they're gonna try and focus that at me. <laughs> Unfortunately, the worm dies. And Micro bait them into that minefield up the top. They though. could just go for the um, core here. They don't even need to go after these two. Oh. Ibrez says he hasn't had enough. Just alter. Ibra is just following up every kill. Gets away by the skin of his teeth. The resurrect on Tartanus. Oh, that first resurrect of the game. And a total hit, miss, miss of a heal there. Yeah, okay, there's no chance of living here. Oh, watch oh. pick comes out, but then push out watch pit. Oh, oh <laughs> fantastic play! Abby could have slapped Celio down there before he had a chance to drink. <laughs> and Abby's gonna get chased. He's actually gonna get away. 
slapped. Ballsy <laughs> 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 move by Abby. Really not afraid slowed. of that Artanis. He tanks down. Yeah, this could be the end of it now. And that should seal the deal. Like it's a win for Team Phoenix. Fortunately, it somewhat falls on Zekri's uh, shoulders, but. Unfortunately, you got a hero that just really doesn't know or understand. Yeah, that AI Oriole is really what hurt the blue team. Every time there was a team fight going on, even Abatha doing her little bit on the core. I've got a catapult on the core. If they don't take down that catapult in two seconds, it will be over. It will be over. The catapult will finish it. There it is. I want to say Abitha. I want to say it, like those mines. There, like those there, traps. there was so many people I would want to mention there. Like, like Argives' Argives. ulti saved them a lot. Yeah. I love the ETC. Uh, great stuns, good knockbacks, and overall presence. Then, then I have to point out Ibrez with all the, the, all the brilliant shots. And then Abatha for the um, the the courage or well, stupidity. Say, say, Depends Bala's, on how you want to look at it. Bala's choice in ulti was really good there, especially against Samuro. Like there's when she when she went the blade dash, um, she did out move him and still he was within range of copying damage, but he was she wasn't copying damage from his ult. So, I got to disagree with you there though. Uh, because the other ult in this situation against that team would have been far stronger, uh, because it would have mean the AoE ult onto ETC, as well as um, the Brightwing and the Samuro. Uh, the AoE damage, yes, it helps with the um, with the Samuro, but ECT can still just lo cancel, it, just lock it down. Yeah, uh, in my eye, ETC just had that that overall um, 
idea of what 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 do I need to do, when to do it, and then he executed that perfectly. Uh, brilliant, brilliant stuns. Um, I don't even see him miss a single one. Um, and he, his knockbacks were really good. He cancelled out Abatha's return trip, um, which caused, uh, sorry, Artanis's return trip, uh, causing Artanis to be caught out in the middle of Red Team. Uh, yeah, I'll just let everyone else have their say. But I'd have to agree with you, CT pick. His presence is just all the right time. Spots the right time. That double knockback really helped with the crowd control there. 